Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2013. This is 2K and this is TNA episode 70 Hard Core Justice 2014. Um, we got a, a few good matches set up and some other matches that uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. But I'm looking forward to the, the ones that we did set up well. So let's get right to them. We're going to start off with the Young Bucks taking on Matthew and Jeffrey Nero Hardy. And this is going to be a fun match that has Nick Jackson win. And we'll have Jeff lose. Yeah, no, Matt loses. I don't even care. Complain. Whatever. Young Bucks over the Hardys. Young beats old. Then we have a fun little X Division matchup with Matt Taven and Bobby Fish. And Taven is going to retain here. I'm going to put a tables match here with Bully Ray and Tele Ule. And I'm going to have Tele Ule win decisively. And then Tele Ule is going to unfortunately cut a quick promo telling everyone that he's going to go by the English version of his name, Big Dog. So the Big Dog Big Dog and Noah. And the big dog is going to begin his rise up to the tops shortly, starting with beating down Bully Ray. Going to see a women's champion or knockouts championship match with Gail Kim taking on, I believe, cheerleader Melissa. I don't know if this is what I set up, but this is what's happening. And Gale gets the win. I picked the X Division. We got 68 minutes to proceed. We have a few um, big matches left. But first we have Tyler Black come out and he's going to call out Jericho and say, I want you one-on-one -on -one right now. Jericho, of course, is going to big league him and he's going to be like, no, no, I'm going to fight Dave Batista later. But here, Tyler Black, you entertain yourself with Shelton Benjamin. And Tyler Black easily defeats Shelton. And he still is looking for that match with Jericho. We are then going to go right into the big one-on-one -on -one match between Batista and Jericho. And I know this may not be a surprise to many people, but Jericho's going over. He's been nothing but great since we brought him in. So. I also want to have a match 
maybe earlier in the show between Lee and Aries. And that's just a quickie with Lee going over. Aries D push is on in full effect because he keeps I don't know, he keeps requesting to be have these shitty unscripted things. So we're going to have the tag title match. And it's going to be Beer Money and the Wolves. And the Wolves retain. Sorry. I don't I I I don't want to move it on to Beer Money. I don't think they're the guys to beat the American Wolves for the title. Which means we are now on to Steen versus Ettor. And Ettor is pumped up. He, I'm going to give him a pre-match promo for this. Slow build, open. And I'm going to give this to Etor. I think that might be Steen's first loss in the company. And he's riding that like huge wave of momentum. And I'm just going to I'm going to have to give Steen a big bonus and he's going to have to suck up a loss. Where's your uh, match history in TNA? Ah, you've eaten losses. Yeah, you lost to Aries, man. You could lose to Etor. We're pushing Etor, man. Etor's getting that that big big time title match. Debut title match. So pre match. We'll have a little entrance for Itor, where he does the the New Day type, come out and talk about stuff, entrance. And then finally, the triple threat match, once for the X Division title, now for the TNA title. AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Chris Daniels, 20 minutes, open, slow build, and your winner, Joe, Christopher Daniels, unfortunately, loses, he gets so close, but loses once again. I believe all of our titles were put on the line to Taven. Taven fought, right? Yes. We have a good show. Yep, I'm ready for this. Hopefully it does well. Hopefully the Etor thing is good and Steen takes a big bonus at the end. Let's do this. So Young Bucks get a big win there. Taven, oh wow, that is not good. Hmm. Lee beating Aries with a big boot as Aries D push continues. Uh, Bully Ray beats down Tele Ule at the time, but cannot put him through a table, and then he gets speared through a table. And he hypes up a match where he basically says that he's now the big dog around here, and he will be going by Big Dog Anoe. And Gail Kim and cheerleader Melissa. Kim gets a win. Tyler Black wants Jericho. Jericho does come out, but says that he'll be fighting Batista later. And you could have fun with Shelton Benjamin. Which Black beats Benjamin fairly easily. Jericho then has a match with Batista where he he ends up getting a big win. The Batista D push is about to come into play too. And 
the Wolves get the win over Beer Money, and here's where we start to get concerned, guys. Etor, mmm, 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 yum. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Awesome. That'll do. And let's just, speaking of awesome, I need to tell Killer Steen that he is awesome. Seriously, Steen, you putting over a tour is a big, big deal. Like a big, big deal. Thank you. And Batista, thank you for getting a steroid pop. You're done. Thanks for your overness, you jackass. Borash doesn't do anything. I'm going to let him go. I think Hard Justice was a big success. I think we got a, a few things that we could be doing. I don't know why Melissa's so upset, but whatever. Here you go. Oh, good. You're still upset. I, can I have my money back then? So let's push. So we're going to be setting up a match between Etor, who is now an upper mid-carder, and I probably helped his popularity quite a bit. Oh, he's still D+. Plus. Mm. Oh, that did help quite a bit, actually. Did more for him in that one thing than WWE did the entire time. So the Etor push, it begins. And he will get a one-on-one -on -one match with Samoa Joe. And I have a feeling uh, Killer, Killer Steen may, may go on a bit of a rampage shortly. So there's that. Anyway, I've talked for long enough. Just recorded five episodes in a row, so my throat's sore. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.